All right. So this video is about proving that the x-intercept of the normal to an ellipse it lies in a certain range. So the range is negative a e square comma a e square. Right. So how do we prove that? First of all, we need the equation of the normal. So the equation of the tangent that is given by x cosine theta upon a plus y sine theta upon b is equal to 1. So that's the equation of the tangent. From that, you can figure out the slope. Uh, that should just be negative 1 upon the slope of this thing. And to do that, what we'll do is that we'll simply reciprocate these coefficients. So x a upon cosine theta and y b upon sine theta. And we'll add a negative right there. So now the slope is negative 1 upon what it would be over here. And that's equal to some constant, right? The good thing is that the point a cosine theta or b sine theta, so parameterized using the eccentric angle, right? That point lies on the normal. I mean, that's obvious because that's where the normal is. So just put that point in this to get the value of c. And from that, we can see that our normal is just this equation. So this line, what's the x-intercept of this line? For the x-intercept, y is 0. So this thing is gone. And that means x-intercept, that is just for sine theta upon a into a square minus b square. And now I will use the fact that a square minus b square is just a square e square, or I should say a e whole square. So this thing is just for sine theta a square e square upon a, and that means it's just yes, so cosine theta times a e square, and uh, you can see that this does in fact look something like simple harmonic motion because our theta, uh, that thing, is changing linearly with time right now. And that's why it's doing SHM, right? And the amplitude of this SHM, it is AE square. And that's exactly what you see over here, that it oscillates to the extreme value, then it goes back. And these extreme values, these are at x equal to a square and x equal to negative a square. So this is it. So why do we even care about uh, this thing? We care about it because if you someday have a point where you want to find uh, what normals of this ellipse pass through that point. For example, if you have the focus, so a e comma zero, if you want to figure out what normals of this ellipse pass through the focus, then you will you will basically just have this horizontal line, the x-axis, that is the only normal that passes through this thing because everything else, it won't work, right? So uh, the thing was that in our equation of normal, we have cosine theta and sine theta in the, the denominator. And when these were not zero, it was good. Everything was going correctly. But when these are zero, it doesn't catch them. It doesn't catch uh, those and that's a problematic thing, right? So there is in fact also a, a normal that passes through AE, but that normal would be when this point P is exactly over here, so at the x-axis. And yeah, that's it. So this is really just uh, basically a shortcut that we can use when we have a point that is a uh, that has its x coordinate more than a e square or less than negative a e square. If you have some point like that, then you can just figure out what normal passes through it directly without even actually having to calculate anything because it's just this x axis that's the normal, right? No other normal will pass through it. So this is it. I'll see you guys in the next video.